Hey, right, bro, what you getting done, man? Get low skin fade. Low skin fade. Oh, you, all right, so you, you taking this off, or you want to keep the curls? I want to keep the curls. Keep curls, but you want a low fade. Yeah. So bald, bald behind the ear and everything, right? All right. And cool. Can you fade out the beard? Fade the beard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want to take it down some? No. No. So you don't want to take it down, but you want to fade it in. How low do you want the fade to go, go into your beard? Okay. Yeah. We can do that, bro. Let's do it, man. You want anything off the top at all? You can trim it a little bit. Just all right. A little bit let's, to go. let's do. We'll do this. We'll start with the sides then, and then you let me know if you want to go any shorter yeah. on the top. Let's do it. YouTube, what's going on? If you didn't skip the consultation, I hope you guys have noticed the difference in camera quality. I'm using my new lens. We upgraded from when I used to use my phone. I was using my phone the last like 100 tutorials. But anyways, with this haircut, you can tell that his hair is disconnected. So pretty much his curls are just hanging over from the parietal ridge into the sides. And I don't like that disconnected look. So we're attempting to try to make some, some type of uh, transition from the sides into the top where it's not disconnected and it's actually blended in. And the, the biggest reason why I wanna do this is because if he wants a low fade, I'm gonna put in a bunch of work just for his curls to hang over and cover it. And you can't really get a nice shape like he wants um, unless you actually shape it and you transition it into the top. So as you can see, it, it's not as disconnected as it was before, uh, but it, it has a nice transition into the top, okay? And what I'm doing here with this number two with the grain is I'm just making sure that it's uh, right where it starts to leave um, the sides of the head into that bulk. Um, there's there's no line, there's no like like um, curls, you know what I'm saying? That's That still looks like a transition. All right, so we balded one side out and as, as you can see, all my guidelines are a lot smaller. So I'm no more than a half an inch. I went from bald to blade open to now I'm debulking with the one and a half guard to now I'm dropping down to the one guard open, okay? And with these guidelines, it's gonna help me stay um, stay organized, not get lost because it's so easy to get lost with these lower compressed fades. Um, and now I'm just gonna blend down from that one and a half guard to that one open. Now I have a number one closed and we're gonna continue to drop in guards um, until it is completely blended. And if you see me hop up to a guard higher back like back to a guard that was that was leaves the hair a little bit longer it's just because i'm trying to spread the blend a little bit more all right so now we have the half we had the half guard it was all the way open and we closed it little by little now we have the blade all the way open and at this point we're going to close it until it is blended and we're going to go section by section little by little like i started all the way on the left side and now moving over little by little until it's blended and you can see that blend is starting to come together there isn't a lot of room to to make mistakes with these compressed blends right so you really do got to take your time use a lot of the corners of your blade of your clipper but you can see it's starting to come together though all right so here you'll get a better angle blade all the way open and now, and then we're gonna close it little by little until that bottom line is gone. This was by far the hardest haircut for me to master, and it's a difficult cut to do on any texture of hair, in my opinion. All right, so like I said, I'm hopping back to higher guards just to spread the blend in certain areas a little bit more. And not just that, but to make it make it flow a little bit better. I want a nice contoured blend that, that 
suits his head shape nicely. And like he asked, he wants to blend blend the beard in. And where he wanted the, the blend to stop into his beard was right below the ear. So I debulked it right below the ear and then I started to blend into that debulked area. By doing doing those steps that way, it just allows you not to not to fade too deep into the beard. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and completely bald it out. I'm using my trimmers. I was using my trimmers there. And if you accidentally create a line, you can just hop back to your clipper all the way closed and clean it up. It's gonna happen. You're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna make little lines here and there. Um, as long as you don't go up too high and make that line, you should be okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and put the C cup in and this is what's going to make that low fade really pop. His hairline was difficult because you could definitely tell around his hairline it, it loses density, especially on this side. So I had to be careful not to not to debulk too much around his hairline. You want that to stay dark. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start this side. If you notice, I did the left side, now I'm doing the right, and we'll tie everything together into the back last. It just helps control um, the blend the fade the gradients so bald blade open and now we're going to the one one and a half guard all the way open to debulk it and then from the one and a half guard all the way open we'll blend down now if you want to switch it up if you want to do different steps if you want to put these guidelines in and and fade up more power to you do it um, I just find it's easier to control the, the gradients and to keep from from spreading the fade out too much or from bringing the fade up too high. Um, I find it easier to control that by blending down. So now we have the one guard open, then one closed, as you can see. And below that, we'll drop down to the half guard, that green half guard. And now we're there, we're at the green half guard, all the way open and we'll close it little by little. I, I jumped back up to that number one guard because I saw a little bit of, of, of like a dark spot in this area. And it's good to do that. Like don't move on to the next section until you feel good about the current section. All right, so now we're moved on to the next section. We're using our blade all the way open. And again, we're closing it little by little until your clipper is all the way closed and that blend is pretty much done. I'm working from the right to the left until I kind of finish off into the back. And then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and detail like I'm doing now. All right, so this is the last part. And like I told you guys, we do the left side, we did the right side, and now we're gonna tie it all together into the back. Now this is important because with these low compressed fades, especially in the back, man, the back couldn't completely ruin the haircut. So you really want to be able to get the back to flow nicely into the sides and, and so you want to be able to spend time just focusing on this area. But essentially we started off with that one and a half guard 
debulked it, um, we created our guidelines, and now we're just fading down, doing the same exact steps. We're looking for it to visually look good. You don't have to stay in a box and stay, you know, um, there's no rules to, to fading, man. Like, there's no rules to, to this. Like, at the end of the day, the goal is to, vis to, to, to end up with a visually um, good looking fade. And so, if you gotta spread the fade out in certain areas to make it look better, then that's what you gotta do. I feel like some people stay too into their rules or into their system. They don't really deviate from it sometimes. And um, nobody's hair or no canvas is perfect. Everybody got different head shapes, different hair textures, different hair growth patterns. So you do, you know, a system is good for your foundation, but you do have to, you know, sometimes go outside your system to get that visually, you know, um, fulfilling look. All right, so this side was difficult because you can see his hairline, like the density around his hairline is, is a lot lower. And so if you notice, I didn't debulk that area, but I'll freehand it or do um, trimmer over comb to like get any like puffiness or curls out. And then we'll, we'll, fin we'll, we'll continue to line it up. So if you notice, I'm um, now balding it out with the trimmers and the shaver. Use the corners of the shavers and flick out. You don't want to create another line. If by accident you create a line, then you want to go downwards with the shaver to kind of buff that line out and then use your trimmers. All right, and we are going to enhance this cut because of, you know, it doesn't need it, but Visually, I think it looked better because of the hair density around his around his uh, hairline. It just it's gonna make it pop. So, man, look at from this angle. Yo, y'all gotta let me know what you think in the cam about the camera, man. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. All right, so I did use Get Beam's technique with the uh, pencil, um, and I actually used the the the, the brown on him just because I I did want it to match a little bit more. Um, I didn't want it to be like a, a too white of a line. So um, yeah, we went with a little bit more of a subtle look. And uh, I think it looks good. It's just gonna really make this line and beard and beard line pop. Like I gotta tell ya, I, I try to use the, sh <laughs> the shave gel around the mustache area every time, just cause it's it's a coarse area and it hurts, man, when you try to dry shave that. So like I told you guys in the beginning, we're gonna uh, freehand with the scissor work just to help with the shape a little bit more. And uh, that was his nod to, of approval. He liked the top. And look at the cut. Sheesh. Guys, so we dropping five days a week. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think about this low fade and smash the like button man it always helps guys thank y'all love y'all see y'all on the next video